Hello YouTubers, once again I'm doing another re toy review, and this time it's on Slug Terra. Slug Terra is an awesome TV show that came out late, uh, yeah, late last year, uh, of 2012. Really awesome show, uh, featuring the slugs that, uh, the main character Eli Shane shoots out of his blaster among his other friends and enemies. Um... There are currently five different sets of slugs that you can get. You can get Burpee and Jewels. You can get uh, you can get Burpee and Jewels. You can get Goober and Banger. You can get Spinner and uh, Bludgeon, Doc and Stinky, and then the two that I decided to get was Rocky and Buzzsaw. Now, here are the two little characters. Here's uh, Rocky. Now, these characters are pretty darn small. Uh, whenever I looked up these toys, like, because when I saw this show, I was like, man, these toys are going to be awesome. I, I want to get me some whenever they come out. And so I looked up some images of them, and... And then, like, also, I looked on eBay, and I hate the pictures that the people used on eBay. They made them look like they were the size of your fist, basically. And then I also asked the sellers, hey, how big are these? And they were like, oh, these are two and a half inches tall, or these are two inches tall. I mean, this is, like, roughly an inch tall, in my honest opinion. Now, it could be taller than that. I don't, I didn't get a ruler to see, but... Here's a standard uh, clone trooper from Galactic Heroes or whatever. And you put him right there. And then I put Rocky right next to him. Like if I put him right here on a flat surface. Put him right there. And put Buzzsaw right next to him. The Stormtrooper is like... I'd say around a half inch taller than him, or three quarters of an inch taller than him. So they're pretty darn small. Uh, yeah, but I mean, they're still big enough where they're like cool. But the original price for these guys that I saw on like ToysRUs.com was four ninety nine, which five bucks. I was like, that's uh, that's a pretty good price. But they bumped it up to six ninety nine, so they're you're paying. Set a little over seven dollars it would tax on two really tiny figures, and so that made me only want to get one package because I do not want to spend seven dollars seven dollars seven 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 times five is thirty five dollars thirty five dollars for like <sighs> ten little characters is not worth it in my opinion. I would rather let wait till my birthday and get the other ones for free oh and then also I have a standardized Pokemon a normal size Togepi to compare it and they're like the same size as a Pokemon so that's pretty cool so <laughs> if you don't like Slug Terra for whatever crazy hypnotic reason uh, you also need to go see a doctor by the way I'm not crazy or anything. I'm just saying that show is pretty awesome. Uh, you can put it next to your Pokemon and say, Oh yeah, this is a buzzsaw. Uh, but yeah, and it... yeah. But anyway, I was really hoping that these toys would have their trans... Whenever they transform at 100 miles an hour, if you know the show, they transform. Um, I wish they had like their little tiny form, and then their transform form, if that makes any sense, uh, right next to them, and you buy that, uh, instead of these two little packs. That, or I was hoping for, like, this character to be, like, three inches bigger and just come by himself, I would have totally bought that, because, I, I mean, yeah, these little forms are cool, but that just means they're easier to lose. Uh, not saying that I lose my toys easily, I'm just saying that they're easy, they're a lot easier to lose when they're smaller, which I hate. Anyway, so, 
sorry I only had two to review. Um, I'm going to show you a little more about them, and the then the video is going to be over. Uh, but I plan to get the other one soon, and then I'll do a, a review on them. Uh, sorry if this review stinks in your opinion, uh, but uh, I'll try to make it better for the other ones. Uh, if you give me helpful advice in the comments. Uh, standardized box, the, the labelings fell out, uh, got some awesome slugs up there from another set that are on all of the boxes instead of like two different ones on each different box, and you got Burpee right there tra in his transform mode, and the, well there's one of the labels, Rocky and Buzzsaw, uh, Oh, yeah, and I'll show you the the other contents of the box besides the two characters. Uh, you get Rocky and Buzzsaw right there again. You got game codes for exclusive Slug Terra items. To a picture of the slugs. You got their stats. You got their species. You got their preferred habitats. Power type. I'm sorry that I'm shaking. Uh, frequency. Common, common, element, fire, and metal. I didn't read the other ones because y'all should be able to read. I'm sorry if I'm that lazy. And then uh, the code to pay for them. Uh, well, the smart code, uh, the barcode. Yeah, y you should be smart enough to know what that is too. Uh, but anyway, and they also came with this... Secret, ooh, to information if you have that Slug Terra app on your phone. I don't because I don't feel like spending money on an app. And, uh, yeah, you can even look at the code because I already entered it. I didn't get anything for it because I played the game and then I said new game. And so it erased the reward that I got for it. So, uh... My only guess is either my computer just messed up on me and so I got screwed about the code and so I don't get it or you have to play that Slug Terror game all the way to the end so you don't have to start a new game uh, and so you actually get the rewards but i rather not waste my time playing that game. I played it for about an hour to two hours maybe and got to like the second world or whatever and then I just got bored of it. Uh, it was just monotonous. It, besides getting the new slugs, which you didn't get every new level, it just got boring and annoying. But it, it's alright for half an hour to waste time for whatever reason. And then you can also, I guess, enter this code for the app, which I probably wasted because I showed everyone. But good luck to whoever is the first viewer to get this, I guess. Oh well. And so, take a, a more interesting look at the toys. Okay detailing, there's not too much detailing. I mean, they colored in that, that's nice. Mmm, nice little slug. And then, if y'all haven't already seen the other slug. Mm. Oh, and by the way, they each have a hole in their butt. So you can put them on the blaster if you buy the blaster, but I don't plan on buying the blaster. That's for like, Nerds and little kids. There's nothing more than a Nerf gun in my opinion. And then these antenna things are a little rubberish or whatever. So you can like bend them a little bit. So you don't have to worry about them snapping if they do. Whee! Okay. Anyway, that's the end of this review. Please comment if you liked it, didn't like it, or if you just are neutral. Goodbye.